Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I am going to show you some of the best basketball plays that you can run that have zero screening. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I am going to show you some really great basketball plays that have no screening. So the, the reason why I'm posting this video is I never knew, I, up until recently, I never knew that there was actual leagues around the world that don't allow screens up until a certain age. So this video is dedicated to those coaches or even coaches who want to teach their players ball movement. Yes. So the idea behind not allowing screens in a game or in, in a league is to allow your players to learn how to move without the ball and also move when they have the ball or when they pass the ball. And well, that's, it's a great strategy. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out these basketball plays. So in this first play, we are going to call this the pass and cut. It's a four out, one in, pass and cut. So basically what we're going to start with is player one, he is going to go and pass the player four and he's going to cut towards the rim. Now if he's open, obviously hit him up for a layup. If he's not open, he's going to go and pop out to the other side. Obviously his defender is going to be following him. And then once that, that clears... Player 5 is going to go and show himself in that post. If he's open, of course, hit him up for that layup. But if we're going to pass to him anyways, no matter what. Once that pass goes through, Player 4 is going to cut towards the rim as well. He's going to go down the middle. And if he's open, hit him up for a mid-range shot or possibly a layup. That would be fantastic. If that's not open, he's going to go and clear out to the other side. These two players are going to fill in those two spots. So they're going to be running back around the the, uh, the perimeter and player five could pass to one of those two players for the three point shots if they are of course open so now if he was able to get that ball out to the perimeter which he should be able to if this is a fast enough player what we're going to look to do is now pass the ball back around the key, the perimeter and then once it gets over to this side Player 1 is going to pass to player 4. He's going to cut towards the rim. And this is the exact same play that we were just running on this side. What could have also happened is once player 2 gets that ball, he could pass the ball back. And then you could be running the same play on this side once again. Now with these two players instead of those two players. This can also work very successfully if you do it at the high post. So let me show you what I mean by doing this at the high post. So this will be play number two. Player two would pass to player three. Player two would then cut towards the rim if he's open, hit him up. And then he's going to pop out to the other side. Player five is then going to show to the high post. And then player three is going to pass player five that ball. Player three, instead of cutting down to the middle of the key, instead of that, he's going to cut down the right side of the court. He could be open for that layup. Now, if he is not open for that layup, What's going to happen is he's going to clear out to the other side. Players 1 and player 4 is going to fill those spots. And they should be able to get an open shot from those angles. Or if player 1 is indeed fast enough, he could run around back down and for the layup. Or if your league allows you to do dribble handoffs, even though that's sort of a screen, uh, player one could do a dribble handoff because now that we have this whole side cleared off This could be a dribble handoff with player five But again, this could be classified as a screen. It depends on your league So I would definitely go ask if you're allowed to do dribble handoffs in your league if you don't know already Now in our third play what I'm going to show you is player one is going to go and pass to one side or the other But let's just say for the argument's sake. He's going to pass the player three He's going to cut towards the rim now of course, if he's open, hit him up for a pass because that could draw a double team in the layup. But, of course, that would be probably very rare and is very rare for the one time I've seen this play uh, be ran. Now, next, player one is then going to weave through and he's not going to be using them as a screen. But, let's face it, they're basically screening. And he could pop out for a three-point shot if that area is open. If it's not open... Then player one can then curl back around to the middle of the key and player one could be open for that shot. 
Now, if he goes out, what we're looking for is for him to pop out there. But if this area is open, definitely hit him up. It's it's worthwhile taking that shot. Um, but player one is going to pop out to there. And player three is going to go and pass player one that ball. Next, what we're going to see now is player three is going to go and cut towards the rim. And then he's going to pop out to this side of the court. And player five is going to be showing to this high post. The reason for this is what we are looking for here is to draw players out of this side of the key while having a high-low option right here. The other reason for this is because now we're going to be looking to get player 3 or player 2. Player 2 and 3 would then be switching spots, and we're looking to get player 2 to be quick enough off of that switch to cut back door for player 5 to pass to player 2 for that layup. Now I would classify this next play as a quick hitter because it's only going to be a single play. There's no way of finishing this off unless you go into a 5 out or something like that. But what we're going to have is player 2 is going to weave between player 4 and 5 and then back out through player 5 and 3. Of course without using them as a screen. Somewhere in this area he is going to take that shot because he should be open for the 3 point or mid range shot. This is a quick quick hitter that can run very quickly if you are near the end of the game and just need a quick basket. Of course, making sure that these players are not making any kind of motion as if they're making a screen. They're facing this way and they're asking for the ball. And then of course, the one I always think of when I hear of screen, no screens allowed is a simple pass and cut. So player one passes to player two. He's going to cut towards the rim. When he gets down there, he's going to post up for one second and then he's going to clear out to the other side, he, the opposite side he passed to. Player three is going to fill that spot. Player four is going to fill three spot. And then player one is going to pop out. Player 2 is then going to pass to player 5 or player 3, but I'm going to pass to player 5 here just to show you what happens when it gets to that area. Player 2 is going to then cut towards the rim. These players are going to fill those spots. And then what's going to happen from there is player 2 is going to pop out. Player 5 is going to pass to player 3. He is going to go and cut towards the rim. He may be open. If not, he's going to go and post up for one to two seconds, and then he's going to pop back out to the same side he came from. Now, I hope that these five basketball plays help a lot of the coaches and teams who run in leagues that don't have screens. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video.